Let's get this video started. Uh. Do you ever talk to yourself when you're inside and feel like people outside can hear you? Or is that just me? No? Just me? Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to talk about my tattoo and the truth of who Nikki Heaton really is. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for the people who have watched my videos so far and subscribed to my channel. It honestly means so, so much to me and I can't wait to keep making videos for you guys. To start off, I only have one tattoo and that is this one. So it says NBK. So what NBK stands for is natural born killer. Don't get crazy, don't think that I'm literally a killer or something like that. So what NBK is, is basically it's the brand behind Nikki Heaton. So she created this whole NBK brand she started with her manager, Lauren. So I'm gonna kind of backstory a little bit of when I first discovered Nikki. So I first found her around, I think it was 2013 or 2014. It was my senior year of high school. And I found her probably like many other people, I saw a picture of her on Instagram. And then I discovered that she was a musician. So at this time she was promoting bad intentions probably not the bad intentions that you hear now with Migos when it was very very first released back and I believe it was like September of 2014 so I first heard bad intentions and I instantly was like wow this song is really really good so I wanted to listen to some more. So I went onto her SoundCloud and I started listening to the songs that she had written and she had done some covers of songs. So I also was watching those covers um, on YouTube. After listening to her music and kind of finding out more about her, I really started to see who she was as a person, kind of the things that she had gone through to shape her into the person that she was then and how she is now. So she went through a lot of hard struggles, um, such as she lost her sister to cancer, she grew up with parents that weren't very supportive of her, and she was also bullied a lot as a child because of how she looked and how her body was. I instantly connected with her because I could see that fire and that passion of what she wanted to do and how authentic she was to herself. For example, Nikki was signed to a record label, so they basically wanted to change the whole sound of her music. They wanted to change what she looked like, how she acted, everything like that. And that is not what she stands for. That's exactly what NBK is, is basically to be yourself and not let anyone change you. So she ended up leaving that record label and since then has basically been doing everything by herself with her manager, Lauren. She writes and produces all of her own music. She created two tours all on her own that have been extremely successful. Now, a ton of people will see Nikki and call her a slut or a whore, and this is like disgusting to me that people would actually say that just because of what she posts and how she looks, but I admire her for being so true to herself and not caring what anyone else thinks. When I was first seeing her pictures, I knew that it was coming from a place not of being cocky, but of being confident. There's a difference between cocky and confident. And being confident is being confident in who you are no matter what you look like. I really connected with this because I had always been self-conscious of how I look. I would also pick apart parts of my body that I didn't like and would look at other girls and compare myself. And it wasn't truly until I found Nikki and found what she stood for that I began to feel more confident in myself. I had always been very different and knew that I wanted to do the things that I wanted to, but I was always afraid to because of what I, other people would think of me. It wasn't until I found Nikki that I fully began to embrace myself and truly not care what anyone thinks. I would wear what I wanted for clothes, I would post what I wanted on social media, and truthfully, I am so happy that I did that. So many people think they have to just fit into this little mold of what society wants you to be, and that's not true. You are the only person like yourself, so why not be who you are? Fast forward to 2015, it was in November. I saw Nikki for the first time, and that was actually the first time that I met her, so I went to her concert, which was the bedroom tour. This was the moment that truly changed my life and truly changed what I thought about Nikki. I remember waiting in line and I was so nervous because I was like, oh my god, she's standing right there. Like, I remember sitting in the, like, the line and I looked across and I was like, oh my god, like, sh she's a real person. <laughs> like, she's right there. Because you see people on social media and then when you see them in real life, you're like, wow, you're actually a real human being. And I think that that is also such an important thing to remember that 
These people on social media are real people. They're like you and I. They're a real person and they have real feelings. So I remember it was my turn next and I was looking at my roommate and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like I have to go up there. I have to like, what do I do? Like, what do I say? So I walked up and I was like, hi. <laughs> I was so nervous. I brought um, a picture that I had of when I dressed up as her for Halloween the month before. And her and Lauren were like, oh my god, yes, like, we remember you, we remember seeing that. And I was just like, oh my god, she knows who I am, like, freaking out. So she was signing autographs on um, this poster that we have, which I actually have in my room. And she was like, oh, what's your name? And I was like, Ellen. She goes, oh, is your last name Farmer? I'm sorry, what? I thought that I was literally gonna like pass out at that point. So I was like, did she just say that? Am I imagining things? So when I began to talk to her, I was still so nervous, but I started to realize that she wasn't like how I would picture meeting someone who was famous. I pictured that I would walk up, say hi, give her a hug, take a picture, and that was it. She'd be done. But no, with every single person that walks through that meet and greet line, she's going to talk to you. She's going to talk to you, find out um, your story. Like, she wants to listen and talk to you. Literally, security has to be like, okay, time to go because you sit there and you're having a normal conversation. And I remember getting into the car after and I immediately just started <laughs> hysterically crying to my mom because I was like, I can't believe that just happened. I just met someone that is basically completely changed my life. So fast forward again to June of 2016, um, I won a chance to meet her at a radio station. This was really cool because there was only about 10 people who got to meet her, so it was a super intimate setting. At this point, I had zero intention of getting a tattoo. I was just going in, I was gonna like meet her again, like say hi, and that was it. As I was waiting for my turn to go up, I was like, I have to do this. Like I had this overwhelming feeling that I was like, I need her to write this down in her handwriting. So originally what I thought of is I was going to have her sign my pinky um, because the way that I thought of it, I, I was gonna get NBK on my pinky and basically say like, I pinky promise never to leave. I know it sounds kind of cheesy. So I had her sign in Sharpie um, on my pinky, which I'll see if I can insert a picture here. So I had her write NBK on a piece of paper just in case this one washed off or something happened or I changed my mind. So my mom actually drove me that day and when we were leaving we were all kind of just hanging out outside like oh like I wonder if we should just wait for her to come back outside and we can just all talk to her. So literally she comes outside and we're all hanging outside for probably like 15-20 minutes. My mom was acting like such a mom to her and she was like I'm just so proud of you. She's like I know you've had such a, a hard childhood. She's like but I just want to thank you so much of the impact that you've made on my daughter. And in the past, like I have looked up to celebrities and my mom's like, oh, it's just a phase, it's just a phase. But with Nikki, my mom literally was like, thank you. Immediately from the radio station, I was like, mom, I, I need to go get this tattooed right now. So I walk into the tattoo parlor and I basically asked if they had any availability that day. He asked me what I wanted and I showed him and immediately he was like, I, I can't do that. He was like, I won't do tattoos on fingers because basically with finger tattoos and things like on your hands, even sometimes on your feet, the ink won't stay so it will get spotty. And he was like, basically, I want to be proud of my work. I'm not going to do something that I know isn't going to come out to be the best it can be. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe I need to wait a little bit. So I went home. And I thought about it and I was like, okay, like maybe I should wait, like I'll just think about it for a little while. And I was sitting on my couch that night and I was like, mom, I need to do this. I didn't want to get this tattoo to prove, oh, I'm a huge fan. Let me just tattoo this on my skin permanently to show how big of a fan I am. The NBK is what symbolizes who I am as a person. I connect with it so deeply. This is this is my life. This is my lifestyle. I ended up emailing the guy from the tattoo parlor and I said, hey, like I know that you guys are super, super busy right now because it was during the summer and basically they have zero availability. He was like, the next time that we have an appointment is August. And I emailed him a picture of um, the writing and I said, I just wanted to ask if you could put in an appointment for me for the next available spot. I wanna get it on my wrist and not my finger. So just let me know what you think immediately like immediately I get an email back he goes this has never happened but we have a cancellation for tomorrow this is a sign this is a sign the next day I get up and I went so right after I got this tattoo I went through a lot of really hard times I ended up losing my grandfather who I'm gonna get really emotional who was one of my biggest supporters in life. He encouraged me to go live my life. He was so proud of me when I studied abroad. He came and visited me. He 
just showed me how incredible life can be and I mean I miss him every day he literally was like my best friend I know it sounds so stupid but just having this here during those times and just any time in general that I've been super down or like felt depressed or anything like I would see this and it just reminds me that I am so strong and I'm put on this earth for a reason and I should be my true authentic self and that's what I want to do basically like with this video is just to show you to be yourself do the things that you love to do and don't care what anyone else thinks through Nikki and through all of this all I can say is that I just I encourage you to find out who someone is before you judge them from how they look on the outside. Everyone is so unique and special that you need to find out who they are on the inside. You shouldn't judge someone by how they look. You should embrace who you are. Like I said, you are the only person like you on this earth, so you need to be you. Nikki's always there when you feel like you don't have anyone. That's why I love her music so much because if I'm ever having a bad day or I feel alone, when I listen to that, like I can just feel what she puts into her music and her emotion and all her raw emotions and her life and her struggle in her music. It reminds me that I'm not alone. One day she randomly reached out to me on Twitter. She DM'd me just to say that she loves me. Like that is the kind of person that she is. Surround yourself with people like that. Surround yourself with people who love you and are always gonna be there for you and always support you. That's why MBK is a family. We're all there for each other because we're all going through struggles. We are all going through things and we understand that and we all wanna be there for each other. Nikki and Lauren have created this beautiful, beautiful family. MBK is my second family. They are the most amazing people and I don't know what I would do in my life without them. So thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you to everyone in MBK that has just truly changed my life and is always there for me. I love you guys all so, so, so much. And I'm so excited to see what's in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below of anything you want to see. And give this video a like if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video from me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!